Hello, my lovely flowers. It's me, Mia, with Exquisite Floral Design and Events. And today we're going to create this lovely vase arrangement that's great at any wedding. All right, so what we are going to do first is we're going to go and soak our osmosis. Um, foam floral foam and I cut this one in half and we're just going to sit it in this small vase I'm sorry small um, what is it uh, cardboard type of vase that I use at weddings now I'm going to tape it off with some uh, floral tape and you know what I was going to cut it there but I realized let me just go all the way around with it to make it more secure so I did that cut it and then we it's all secure and ready for us to design so whenever I'm designing I make sure I have everything ready so I have all my flowers together and all that good stuff so I put it in the vase so I kind of know what how it's gonna look when I need to design this this vase I think it's from accent decor I'm not very sure I got to double check but it'll be list in the description box along with all the other stuff so now we are doing a eucalyptus type arrangement full circle so what we're going to start with the eucalyptus now the eucalyptus I got right here she wasn't the greatest I love it when it's like really fresh and pretty um, sometimes if it's late in the season right like right now a silver dollar eucalyptus is um, you know going through the fall season so it's not the greatest it's not the beautiful the best color but what I normally do is I put two on the side I mean four along the sides on each side and then one at the top and then I go and fill in from there so let's continue watching as I continue with that So now that I'm finished with the um, eucalyptus, I'm going to use the focal flowers. And those are usually the biggest flower that will be in the arrangement. So this one, it was the roses. And all I'm doing is because they were so fresh, I'm just blooming them out. I usually don't like to use my fingers to bloom them out because it'll bruise them. But I usually spin on them to make them, you know, larger. So now all we're going to do is go ahead and put in the focal flowers. We're going to, I think I used five in here. We're going to use some high, some low, push them in and out. And then also try to make your triangle if you can. got all of our roses in we're gonna go in with a smaller flower which is um, one of our secondary flowers and that is the garden roses 
So we're just gonna kind of put these um, again high and low in and out and you don't have to really do a triangle with these because of the fact that they have a bunch grouped together but we want it to look um, very spaced out and all around the arrangement. Now it's time we're gonna go in with the Lysianthus. I love these. So I kind of keep them, because um, I wanted to give it, so it gives it that height, height or wispy type of look. So I kind of just put these all around. Um, you know, I kind of fill in the spots that um, need it with these. With the blooms, I am going to try to keep my triangle. And then just with the um, little spray, buds I just put them anywhere because I kind of I love it so as you can see here I got my triangle going on um, and then I'm just going to keep on and adding these until we get to our next flower Now we're gonna add in a little bit of color. We are using um, these burgundy, um, I think they're called like red fly fire, but they're closer to burgundy than the actual burgundy uh, ranunculus. Those, the burgundy ones have like a purple tone to them. So we're gonna just gonna put these in here and um, I just went all the way around, but like I said, I'm supposed to keep a triangle. I think I go back through and make the triangle right, but don't worry. Hopefully you'll see it when I am finishing up in here. But there you go. You can see my triangle right there, top, bottom. And um, that's a good rule of thumb. Try to keep your triangle in and out, um, high and low. Keep the depth, depth going on. Now, um, she was supposed to have, uh, what was it? Dahlias as her, as her flower, which was going to be the focal flower. But unfortunately, she was, her wedding was supposed to be in September of 2020. We had to move it to March of this year and dahlias are not in season. So I had to use ranunculus. That's okay though. She was fine with it. Now that I'm kind of finished, I just kind of go back through and this is where I'm gonna add any, you know, hollow spots. Um, so I would you add like more green, more flowers, whatever I think I need to add because sometimes I do forget to, I, um, I'm looking from the top of this arrangement and you, sometimes you forget, you know, the bottom. So when I sit down, well, I, what am I gonna see? And I wanna see some flowers too, not just from the top because I'm looking at the top. So that's what I do here. I'll just turn around and then look how I look from the bottom to see what do I need to add. So this is where I just go and check and see what needs to be added, what needs to be filled. And like looking at this right now, I can see where the flower needs to go in. Um, because like, like I said, they're gonna be looking at it at eye level. When they walk to the table, they'll be looking at the top and seeing the gorgeousness, but also when they're sitting at the table, they're gonna be looking at it at eye level. So I just go back through and check and make sure everything looks okay.
all done yes we are all done with this lovely arrangement so if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment down below let me know like what did you really think about this arrangement and i hope you enjoy and i'll see you next time thank you for watching bye Hee <laughs> hee.